Okay, everyone, I, um, <laughs> I haven't made a video about this in a while because I've been kind of lazy, but lately I've been watching some of the videos relating to the, <laughs> the Westboro Baptist Church, and I gotta tell you, it's winding me right up! Um, but, you know, it's basically kind of just worn me out just thinking about it, because these people have absolutely no logic. They don't understand the Bible at all. They've picked bits and pieces uh, out of it to make it fit what they're saying, which doesn't make any sense, and I really wish people would stop interviewing them, stop talking to them, stop asking them questions, because you can't make sense out of lunacy. You You can't. You just can't. And I've come to the I'm going to upload a video after this, um, and that video will pretty much basically explain <laughs> what the ground rule is for them, and that is hate. Basically, all they focus on is hate. They, they say, uh, in that video, they say that, that God hates the majority of the human race and died on the cross for only a select few. Basically meaning their church, right? Yeah, no. And this, you know the guy in the video who was talking to the Westboro people? He was an actual Christian. Which was, you know, it's good. I, I really wish more actual Christians would, including, you know, I've been inspired. Um, but, like, I wish that more actual Christians would um, go out there and, and preach the real message of God's love and, and forgiveness and mercy and grace and and all that good stuff, you know, to combat this. I mean, because, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's not like anybody actually takes their words seriously. We just get pissed off at them. Like, nobody's actually like, ooh, um, I must repent. No. I mean, first of all, who in the world is going to want to come to and repent to a person who hates them? I mean, like, yeah, huh, yeah. When did I say God, Jesus' message was about hope? Uh, excuse me, have you read the Bible? I mean, that's the whole point of Jesus. God sent his, for God to love the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. You know, God so loved the world. Why would he send his only son, who really didn't have to come down, he didn't, he could have just stayed up there and let us all burn, you know? He, he's God. He doesn't have to, but he chose to come down to be born in a manger and live, you know, do his works and then die on a cross. A very, very, very horrible death. And, and bother, why would he bother doing that if he hated everyone? You know, I mean, it's just, I mean, but when it all comes down to it, you can't ask questions about why they think what they think. They're plain and simple. I've come to the conclusion that obviously they're nuts, but also, I mean, just the whole idea of it is, you know, the way they preach, that's never going to draw anyone to God, ever. I mean, if you keep telling God hates you, God, you're going to hell, God hates you, who's going to want to come to that? Nobody. So I firmly believe that this church is the work of the devil. And yes, God gives free will. I mean, I wish he didn't allow them to, to do this, but God does give free will, and they chose to embrace that. So, the bad stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's still sin in the world, so, you know, hate and, and you know, this bad conduct is still rife in the planet, and some people take it worse than others, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I seriously, seriously, seriously hope that someday we can, you know, uh, rally up and, and get Congress to ban disorderly conduct like that. I mean, because, like, yeah, I, I totally agree. Everyone should have freedom of speech. I mean, if we didn't have freedom of speech, then actual Christians and people of other faiths wouldn't be able to promote themselves and 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 stuff like that. So, yeah, obviously, freedom of speech is, you know, great and everything, but this is just unacceptable, and it's so wrong. Like, protesting at the funerals of innocent children, 
who have nothing to do with, like, nobody in their family, supposedly, like, there's a family, and they're, none of them are gay, they don't have, and none of them were actually fighting in the army, and yet still, the people go there and hold up their signs saying, God hates bags. This has nothing to do with bags. Why are you even here? You know, but you can't make sense out of nonsense. You You can't. So... My message to people out there is basically stop giving them attention. That's what they want. They, I mean, you hear their message. They, they say that God is not a God of hope. God hates everyone. They don't want people to get saved. They don't care about people repenting. They'd sooner everyone doesn't repent. It's exactly like Jonah in the Bible, the story of Jonah when he went to Nineveh. And he he was like, yeah, I hate those stupid fucking Ninevites, you know, I want them to go to hell, so he ends up, he eventually ends up going there and saying, you're all basically saying what they're saying, you're all going to hell, sodomites, you know, all that stuff, and then God, and then they actually turned out to, they actually repented, and God saved them, and Jonah was all pissed off, he's like, why'd you save them, I wanted them all to burn, you know, that's exactly how they think, they don't want anybody to get saved, they, they want everyone to go to hell, and they want everyone to hate them. So, you know, we think that we're we're being all like, yeah, let's let's get back at them, let's yell at them, let's tell them, go home, we don't like you, we, we hate you, how dare you do this, that, and the other thing. But they like that. They feed off of that kind of attention, that aggressive attention that we're giving them. You know, so my advice, which I really wish the media would just quit wanting to publicize uh, lunatics, like, yeah, they are lunatics, but still, society would be a lot, even the media would be a lot better off without them, so, everybody just, like, block them from protesting funerals, by all means, block them from protesting funerals and upsetting grieving families, but don't talk to them, don't invite them on TV shows, don't look at them, don't just ignore them, and That'll throw them for a loop for sure, because that's what they want is the attention. If they realize that, just like if somebody's bullying you online, if somebody's bullying you online, if you keep responding and saying, you know, getting, or, you know, why are you saying that? Oh, no, like, you know, and they're going to get the message that by you responding and, and being aggravated and upset, that they're accomplishing what they want. They they like that. So if you just like, you know, the people send you harassing emails and stuff or or tweets or whatever, if you just continue to ignore them, they'll realize they're not getting anywhere and stop. That's how you get rid of a problem. You just don't do anything. You just ignore them and they'll realize that they're not getting anywhere because their goal is to make you upset. So, and these guys are essentially bullies. Uh, Westboro people are bullies. So, that is my two cents. I really, I'm going to post this video on Tumblr. I hope that it goes viral and that people will just get this message. Because this is some hardcore sense right here. This video. This video is common sense. And I just, and, and also, in closing, I would like to say, God loves everyone. He does, it, it's true, he hates sin, but this is, you know, sin came into this world, he didn't necessarily want it to, but that's what Jesus is for, and Jesus died on the cross for our sins because he loves us so much. He loves us so much, he wants us to have a way to get to him. So you can take it or leave it with that message, but the main thing is that God does not hate everyone, he loves everyone. Okay? God is a God of love. Okay, play her out.